peeps and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Gemini for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Gemini placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before I get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your read. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it, Gemini. What do you guys have going on during this time? <clears throat> what are the energies surrounding Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Okay. Good. All right, you guys got a lot that came out for you. Okay, so let's start with the first one that came out. <clears throat> The Shekinah with sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So you guys are really being called to get back into integration, like to integrate yourself, get back talking to people, unleash your spirit, have some fun, even if, you know, the most fun moments for you are by yourself, to tap back into that vibration, that energy. Uh, we have Mavatar Babahi with soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things so I feel like you guys have just had an expansion and now you're about to walk into a space where it's like you're tapping into some spiritual gifts downloads are coming through for you you're trusting your intuition your intuition is speaking to you crystal clear as well Melchizedek I'm, I'm really feeling like Gemini you know the answers um, we have higher learning you have learned from experience more inner study is now required to further process progress so to be honest Gemini some lessons come from within some lessons come from other people so just be prepared for both we have Mary Magdalene here with teacher awakens you have something important to share follow the inner call don't let anything stop you so if you're feeling like helping someone um, you know it, it, it it's a good time it's a good time Gemini because I feel like it's gonna bring you um, a whole new level of growth and understanding just like people are put in our lives to teach us things I feel like there's something someone can benefit from what you've learned as well we have Master Jesus with forgiveness. You are on the right path of love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So you may have the ability to heal a part in yourself by dealing with someone else, you know, or you may find this between balancing your masculine and feminine energies within yourself. It doesn't have to include anyone. We're going to see with the tarot, but Gemini, I'm really feeling like... There is another lesson unfolding here. We have faith with humanity and benevol benevolence. Benevolence. <laughs> Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. So I feel like through this experience, honestly, what it reminds me of, it reminds me of like when someone meets a soulmate and, you know, typically with those soulmates, they're in our lives to kind of ex help us experience something, learn something, yada, yada. It feels like you're meeting a soulmate or someone who is divinely guided into your life. A soulmate can be a friend. You can actually have a soulmate as a parent. Um, you know, it can be a romantic situation, but there's definitely something here that you are being called to teach someone. We have Gaia with Earth Connection. I'm really getting a lot of cyclical energy here. Like some of you Geminis may be like, okay, but you know, I'm ready for, you know, someone to come put something into my life. And if you think about it, people already have, even if it was a negative experience, they still taught you something that was so important for you to either know what it is that you wanted, know what it is that you needed, you know, learn something. So people have, so I'm, I'm sensing a lot of karmic energy unfolding. Um, Gaia with earth connection, be mindful of the planet, come back to earth, stay grounded. So you guys may be spending a lot of time in astral realms. I know it's fun. I love, I'm like, Am I getting old? I love I get so excited to go to bed. I get so excited to go to sleep. <laughs> I've been dreaming every single night. Uh lucid dreaming too, visiting different dimensions and it's very easy to get stuck in that energy and just want to keep your head in the clouds because it's so much more fun, so much more cool and interesting. A lot of the times than being here grounded in the 3D experience, um but that's something that is important for you guys right now. And then we have Green Tara 
with supreme protection. You are protection. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. So a lot of things are a process and I feel like this is all a process for you. You are divinely protected. So don't be afraid of getting hurt by a certain situation. There's just something. I feel like someone entering your life soon. <laughs> And you have something they can greatly benefit from. And it's not going to take anything from you. That's the whole tea. You're also sup supremely protected. Oh, yeah. You're ready for your gifts. You're ready for your gifts. You don't know. You don't feel... For a lot of you, you're not feeling like you want to jump back into another cycle. You're just wanting to experience something good. But I'm telling you, this scenario comes with a gift. And not just a gift from this person as far as something they have the ability to provide you. A gift from the universe. So like I was saying um, a minute ago, life is very cyclical. You gotta, you know, give to receive. And if you give, Gemini, I'm really feeling some big rewards for you. Page of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups. For, for some of you, your concern right now is to walk away from a karmic situation and to wrap that up. There's already a karmic situation that I did feel ended, and I feel like that person taught you something, and now you're being used to teach someone else something, and you're, you know, supremely protected. <clears throat> King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. I get a bit of an untrusting energy. Um, you're doubtful. Uh, whether or not someone has the ability to provide you something, to give something to you, you're kind of looking at a situation like, okay, how is this going to benefit me? Four of Wands. Okay, we got a romantic connection. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. And we have the Tennis Words in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is providing you supreme healing. This is teaching you forgiveness. This is providing you actual healing from the situation that you've been in last or from a situation that has affected you in the past. And it's leading you right into the arms of a soulmate connection, which is so funny. I was literally tapping into that earlier. Um, magician in reverse. This is not something you had to manifest, not something you had to work for. This is definitely, like I said before, karma unfolding. I may label this video that because that's what we're getting so far. Two of swords, six of swords in reverse. There's definitely <laughs> an energy with Gemini right now. You guys are not going for it. You're like, no, that, that doesn't interest me. Try again. All right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear some of y'all dialogue right now and you're just not going for it. Look at this though, Gemini. We got the hair fan, we got the sun here, so I promise you this is going to be a beneficial situation for you. This is bringing you su success. You never know. If you'd been, you know, trying to start your own business, for an example, you are being led to someone who you can help, who can help you immensely. So you definitely do have to give to receive, regardless if you've given before. This is leading you to an overflow, an overabundance. This is leading you to a situation where you would say, oh my goodness, yes, this is a W, this is a win, this is a victory. Um, and if you tap into your higher self with that hair fed energy, you will see that. Um, some of you guys are just kind of like not wanting, I get very much so like a four of pentacles energy, where it's like some of you guys just, you want to hold on to what it is that you have because you just don't want to take any more losses. But this is not a loss coming in. We have the strength card in reverse. Not to say it's going to be easy, but you know, I'm telling you. Definitely leading you to some serious abundance. Let's get into the romance cards and see if this has to do with a romantic connection or if you're getting a romantic connection out of this person. That romantic connection that you want could be your reward or you could be getting that from this person. So let's see. I just heard I don't mind. That was so sweet. <laughs> and the lightest of voices. Some of you guys, Gemini, don't mind, um, you know, feeding into a situation. Like, some of you haven't been through, um, you know, a super struggle. So it's like, I don't mind sharing my love. You have an overabundance of love in you. You're like, I don't mind teaching, um, you know, someone else something. You feel wise beyond your years. Mm -hmm. The universe is definitely calling you to submerge yourself in this. Oh, wow. We got a lot of soulmate energy here. 
Any other messages for Gemini? I just heard secrets. There's secrets, okay? Secrets unfolding from this situation. Not secrets that this person is keeping from you, but there's things that you're not aware of, things that you don't know, and the lid is really going to be blown off um, from this situation. This is the card that actually wanted to come out, and then we have the trust card as well that popped out over there. So we have express your love and calling in your soulmate. At the bottom of express your love, it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So the universe is definitely really calling you, Gemini, to fully submerge yourself into this next cycle, to really feed into this next person. I feel like someone is coming to you for help with something. And you may be in a position where it's like, you've just decided I'm not gonna help anyone. I don't care what it's about. I don't care if it's a friend, a lover. I want what I want. Um, but your karma has not fully unfolded. You know, we're not at the, we haven't completed all karmic cycles. There's still things for you to learn. There's still, you know, energy that needs to get kind of wrapped up before you can walk into that. You're definitely calling in your soulmate, though, with this with this experience. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together is what it says at the bottom of calling in your soulmate. So this experience is definitely bringing you that soulmate energy, but you are going to have to express your love. Like I said before, some of you guys don't have any issue with that. Past life relationship and trust. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. At the bottom of trust, it says the situation is calling for you to have faith, you guys. You're going to have to have faith that the universe has a plan for you. And I feel like it's a really, really sweet plan. And also, I really felt, I mean, before we even pulled tarot, I was getting that soulmate energy. So I really feel like this person is someone you've known in a past life you're going to feel very connected to them regardless so once you kind of meet this person um and have this experience um it's it's gonna feel easier it's not gonna feel um it's not gonna feel like a like a struggle in that way we have you deserve love and give your relationship a chance um work on your partnership is what it says at the bottom of give your relationship a chance i really feel the energy of that card is the universe saying we're brewing we're brewing we're working on your behalf we're bringing to you what it is that you're looking for also make sure you've communicated to the universe already gemini what it is that you are looking for um but we also have you deserve love at the bottom of this card it says you are lovable so the universe is with you okay you definitely do deserve love and you're definitely going to get it all right some cards that flipped already let's see Mm -hmm. yeah so we have storms productivity and study didn't one of these cards say something about higher learning right now is required or something like that um yeah with Melchizedek higher learning yeah we have productivity it's definitely a very active time you're walking into an area a very active time and if anything it'll be fun it'll be exciting at least you'll have some movement yeah so Man, it has been dry out here for the most of us. It has been dry out here, Gemini. Ain't nobody getting no play, no excitements. Um, I'd be on TikTok and people be like, we're touch deprived. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that's the collective energy at this point. A lot of people are craving intimacy and affection and, you know, all sorts of things. And you guys, this is definitely a learning experience for you guys. But learning experience, I want to find a better word for it because it's not a bad thing at all. It doesn't even mean that it'll be difficult. Focus and planning, grace and innocence, there's still something you don't know. There's definitely still something you don't know. It's like a naive energy, like you feel like you've got it all figured out for some of you, but there's still a piece missing to this puzzle and this is all for your benefit ultimately. Also, you guys may have signed a uh, contract with the universe that you would get certain things done, experience certain things for the benefit of the collective good. So this is going to keep knocking at your door until you handle it. You might as well just handle it now so you can get done with it and move on with grace. And then we have focus and planning. So all of this is a part of your, you know, understanding of what it is that you want, what it is that you need from people, from experiences. Wow, look at this. So we have options and breakthrough. 
through this experience, you're experiencing a different kind of person. I don't feel like you've met someone like this before besides in the past life. You're going to resonate with their energy, but they're just so different, Gemini. They're very much so different. And um, options and breakthrough lets me know that you're kind of even realizing, I thought I wanted X, Y, Z, but now I'm experiencing this. I see you liking this person a lot more than you originally thought you would. And I see you benefiting from this situation a lot more than you thought you would. We have confidence and beliefs and traditions. This experience is also helping you um, kind of like, it's, it's kind of shaping who you are in a way. It's like you've lived your life a certain kind of way, but through this experience, you're gaining more confidence in who you are, what it is that you want, what it is that you need, and your beliefs and traditions are shifting. Maybe you've always wanted a more traditional kind of love, and this person is teaching you a whole different way of being in a relationship or having a friendship, you know? <clears throat> If you're used to, you know, codependent relationships where you text, you know, your friends um, all day, every day, FaceTime every day, this person, they may be different in the sense that it's like, okay, you don't have to text me every day, but when we talk, it's valuable. We're having valuable conversations, not just like small talk or updating, you know, every little uh, piece of our day. They're teaching you privacy, how to enjoy and spend time with yourself, you know, just as an example. There's definitely a higher purpose to this. They're showing you something whole, like totally different. Oh, a lot of cards came out. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I get a lot of hints of a new romantic cycle happening. We have the new moon in Libra and the full moon in Libra. You may be dealing with a Libra or have a lot of Libra in your chart. A new romantic cycle begins is what it says at the bottom of the new moon in Libra. At the bottom of the full moon in Libra, it says a win-win outcome is forecast. So like I said before, Gemini, the situation isn't going to hurt you. We have the south node and the void, of course, moon. Uh, don't let your past hold you back and nothing will come of this situation is what it says at the bottom of this So you're not being forced to be with this person But this is definitely teaching you something and you can go about your business and the universe will send you someone else um, Or you can you know decide to have a romantic connection with someone uh, We have the new moon in Pisces and the full moon in Pisces, okay? A lot of Pisces energy here, maybe dealing with a Pisces, have a lot of Pisces in your chart. Um, new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Yeah, there's definitely a huge energy of you guys learning something really, really big from this experience. And then we have the full moon. At the bottom of this card, it says surrender to the divine. So the universe is definitely asking you to trust this process, to allow the blessings to unfold after this process but to fully submerge yourself into this so yeah gemini that was your message dm my instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading you can ask whatever question you want like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next i love you be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one